I'm going to show you how I made this invisible car effect in After Effects. So the first thing you want to do is duplicate your layer. And on that duplicate layer, you want to use the rotor brush tool and select your object, which in my scenario is the car. We're going to quickly check to make sure the rotor brush is well. Well, once that happens, you can freeze your layer. Once your layer is frozen, you can exit out of that. So in this case, you want to look up key light. This is basically the same tool you use to get rid of green screens. I'm going to go here to the screen color and I'm going to select the orange. I'm going to disable my bottom layer just so I can see this better. Maybe even make this transparent. So I'm going to keep refining this until I get it perfectly to how I want. And once you have that done or you're satisfied with the turnout, I'm going to keyframe my screen game and I'm going to go in and I'm going to set it back to zero towards the end so I have more of a fading in effect. Maybe make it a little bit more widespread. Cool, now that you have that done, the next thing you need to do is duplicate your bottom layer again, which is the original layer. We're going to solo this layer and let's mask out the car. This doesn't have to be perfect and you don't really want to be on the edges, you want to give it some room. We're going to press M on our keyboard, open that mask, go to track mask. Let's track that mask real quick. If you don't want to do this, you can just manually keyframe your mask path and just make sure it covers the car the whole time. So next thing you want to do is change your mask to subtract. Open up your content aware fill. If you don't have this, go to window, content aware fill. I'm going to adjust the expansion just a little bit to make sure it gets all the edges and make sure this is soloed out. And now we're going to press generate fill. If the turn of the fill isn't what you want it to look like, you can go right here to the fill method and just keep adjusting this. You can just try out the other ones, object surface edge blend. Some of these work in different scenarios. So for this specific use, I'm going to be doing object and moderate. So once that fill layer is created, you can delete your mask layer. And we're going to drag this fill layer below our key. By using the fill layer, you make the car invisible. And then you have the animation to have it come back in. So you can just keep adjusting this key light to however you need it to be until you really dial in how you want this invisible effect to happen. So once you have that done inside the pre-composition, you're just going to go to your layer. You're going to add in a speed ramp. And the effect is done now. You can add even more effects into this layer right here where the key light is. So let's say you want to add glow into here. You'd add your glow, adjust your values. You can base it off the keyframes here and you can have it animate. So let's say when it's transforming back to the original color, it'll glow. So we'll set these to zero and we'll have one in the middle. We'll set the middle keyframe to around 90 influence. And we'll have these outside keyframes around zero. So it'll glow when it comes back in and then sets back to zero. So that's how you do the invisible car effect. If you want to learn more about After Effects, or if you're interested in these extensions I'm using for After Effects, all this stuff's available on my website, djormita.com.